Welcome back to my channel, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kita Marie. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to subscribe to my channel for all things Pilates. For today's Pilates flow, we will be using a fitness or a stability ball. So please go grab them and let's get ready to begin. We're going to start kneeling with our legs together and the ball gently pressing against our thighs. You want to be as far back along your mats as possible, preferably so that you can have the ball in the center of your mat. And we're just going to begin nice and long, lifting through the torso. Take a deep breath in, pulling the tummy in, pulling the ribcage in, and take a deep breath out through your mouth, sliding your shoulders down, relaxing your elbows. Now start to engage your core. So I want you to, on your next inhalation to actively pull your belly button in towards the spine and to engage your lower pelvic floor muscles. We're going to gently lean forward at the knees into the ball so that the ball is just making contact with our thighs. We're going to then bring the torso over that ball and I want you to take your hands now and place them on the mat in front of the ball. Slide your shoulders back so you keep that chest nice and open and the neck long. We're going to inhale and curl the toes under and straightening those knees gradually. You're going to roll that ball slightly forward so that you're gently pressing on the balls of the feet. Let's soften the elbows a bit as you relax the torso completely, bringing the tip of your nose to the ball. Take a deep breath in, lifting your abdominal muscles up away from the ball towards the spine. And then as you exhale, you're gonna press gently into your palms, straightening the elbows and slide your shoulders back. Now you're going to take your hands and place them on the side of the ball with your fingertips pointing downwards towards the mat, elbows towards the ceiling, but close to the body. Inhale, now lift the torso up, keeping those elbows pointing backwards, keeping your shoulders down, and then exhale, release the torso down where you had it before. Inhale, squeeze the tummy in, lift that torso up, slide the shoulder blades down towards your hips, Exhale, releasing it down. Now, if you find it difficult to do this with your legs together, you can open your feet about hip width apart and try it as well in this position to see if you can get a little bit more support. Let's do this. And with all of the exercises that we're going to be doing with the ball now, is as much as possible to keep the ball stable. What specific parts of the body? So it requires additional core activation and concentration in order to do this. Last one, lifting the torso up and bringing the torso down. Now we're going to place the hands once again on the mat, pressing into the palms and let's roll that ball slightly forward. So that the ball is now underneath the hips and the pelvis. Adjust your hands so that they're once again underneath your shoulders. Slide the shoulders down. Walk the feet back in so you're pressing into the balls of the feet. Lift the abdominal muscles towards the spine. We're now going to work the legs. So lifting one leg at a time, starting with your right leg, you're going to lift the right leg up and bring it down. The ball should not move, so you want to ensure that your hips stay on the same level. So one hip should not be higher than the other. Make sure that as you're lifting your legs, and we're alternating right and left, that you're not lifting the hip of the leg that is moving. Really use your glutes here and your hamstrings. 
Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Left leg up and down. Let's do one more set. Alternating, lift the right leg up. Bring it down to the mat. And then lift the left leg up. And bring it down to the mat. We're going to slowly bend the knees. Roll the ball back. And bring the knees back to the mat completely. Walk the hands back. And slowly roll up. To come back to the kneeling position that we started in. So, we're now going to bring the legs, the ball rather, a little bit forward. They're no longer, the ball is no longer going to be resting against the thighs. It's going to be just in front of the thighs. We're going to fold the body forward at the hips. Try not to sit back up towards your heels. Try as much as possible to keep the hips above your knees as you fold forward. And we're going to take our forearms and place the forearms on top of the ball. Make a fist with both hands. Slide your shoulders back. Now we're going to eventually, we're going to essentially move forward and backwards using our knees as kind of a hinge. So we're going to roll that ball forward and then we're going to pull that belly button in towards the spine to roll the ball back. So we're not moving the arms. It's not because the arms are moving. The ball is rolling because we're leaning forward in the body at the knees and then squeezing the tummy back using those abdominal muscles to pull us back to come back to our started position with the body folded forward by the hips, hips above knees. Again, rolling forward, ball pulls back as you squeeze the tummy in. Roll the ball forward, leaning forward by the knees. Squeeze the tummy in, roll that ball back. Rolling forward, rolling it back. Let's do two more. Rolling it forward, rolling it back. Keep lifting out of your chest, guys. One more. Rolling forward, rolling back. Now, this time we're going to go into a full plank. So, we're going to roll forward to where we were, hold it here, keep the chest lifted, curl your toes under, and let's straighten those knees pull the tummy in tuck your tailbone under or slightly downwards and hold it here now this instability that the ball adds to this plank makes the engagement of the core extra crucial so you want to make sure that you're pulling and lifting tummy up to the spine pulling rib cage up to the spine and you're squeezing your lower pelvic floor muscles keep the shoulders back away from your ears and keep lifting out of your chest if you feel it in your lower back, make sure that your back isn't hyperextended. Make sure that your hips aren't too high. You might need to probably release your hips just a little bit under. And we're almost there. Keep breathing. Keep pulling and lifting your abs. And then slowly release your knees to the mat. Squeeze the tummy in and roll the ball back. Whew. So now we're going to come to still kneeling, but this time the ball is going to be beside you. And we're going to start with the ball beside the right thigh. We're going to just lean into the ball a bit. Just enough until this left knee comes off of the mat. Keep pulling and lifting through the torso. We're going to bend our right elbow and placing that same forearm on top of the ball. Let's extend our left leg and we're going to take our left arm up, bend the elbow and bring the fingers just behind the head. Now in this side series on the ball, engagement of the core is crucial, but we also want to ensure that we're working and utilizing our obliques. So we really need to pull in those side body muscles. We're going to lift our top leg up and we're going to bring it down. Lift it up and bring it down. Feeling the difference when you lift that leg up and you're now only balancing on your right knee. Think about what additional zipping up you have to do in those lower pelvic floor muscles. One more time, we're going to keep the leg lifted. Hold it here and we're just going to circle the leg forward. Very small circles. 
at the hip. Not circling at the knee or the ankle, circling at the hip. Keep the torso lifted. Keep zipping up in the core. Good, and place that leg down. Now we're gonna lift that leg back up again and this time we're going to do side kicks. So we're gonna kick the leg forward slightly, one and two. Flex the foot, bring it behind without rocking forward in the torso, then bring it back to center. Again, kick the leg forward for two, zip up in the core, flex that foot, pull it behind, bring it back to center. Last one, kick forward for two, flex the foot, bring it behind, and bring the leg back to center, and bring it down. Now we're going to do a little bit of twisting action, working those side body muscles. So we're going to twist the torso towards the leg. We're going to bend that knee, pull the thigh towards the chest, lift the torso up, kind of bringing chest towards thigh, and then come back to the side facing forward with that leg extended. But let's try to do it in one movement. So squeeze the tummy in, twist the torso, pull that knee towards the chest, and release down. Again, twist at the waist, pull that knee towards the chest, and release down. Let's try it two more times. Twist at the waist, pull that knee towards the chest, and release down. Last one, twist at the waist, pull that knee towards the chest, and release down. Release that top hand, bend that leg in, and slowly come back up to your kneeling position. Let's switch sides. So that ball is now coming to the side of your left leg. So pulling up through the torso, lean in towards that ball until your right knee is lifted. Bend your left elbow and bring in your left forearm to the ball, still keeping the torso lifted. Let's lift that right arm up, bend that right elbow, place your right fingers behind your head, extend that right leg. Pull the tummy in, zip up in your lower core as you lift that leg up and bring it down. Inhale up. Don't think about height. Just think about lifting through the torso and keeping that torso stable while you're moving the leg, while you're on the ball. <laughs> Again, lift and down. Now when we lift that leg, we're going to do our circles. So lift that leg up and circling forward, squeezing the tummy in. Now one side is gonna be stronger than the other. Don't be alarmed. So for instance, this is definitely my weak side, so I am struggling. <laughs> Breathe in through your nose, out through the mouth. Keep lifting through the torso. We're almost there. And bring that leg down. Now we're going to add the twisting. So we're gonna twist the torso to face the leg. Bend the knee, scoop the tummy in to pull the thigh towards the chest, and then extend. Facing forward with the torso, leg comes back to the starting position. Again, twist at the waist, squeeze the tummy in, pull the thigh towards the chest, extend the leg, come back to your starting position. And twist the torso, pull the stomach in, pull the thigh towards the chest, and extend the leg, come back to face front. Last time, twist the torso, pull the tummy in, pull the thigh towards the chest, and extend the leg, bring the torso back to the front. Release your arm, bend your knee, and slowly come up to a kneeling position. So let's come to sit now. And we're going to do rolling like a ball with the ball. <laughs> so we're going to bring our hips either center or forward of center. We want to make sure we have enough mat behind us. We're going to place that ball right here in between our legs. We're going to curve that lower back as we scoop the tummy in, lifting up through the top of the head. And then we're going to use our abs to lift the right leg up and the left leg up, flexing the feet, and take our ankles to hold the side of the ball. So if we were holding the ball with our hands, whatever position we'd be holding the ball with our hands is the position that we're now holding the ball with our feet. Use and engage your inner thigh muscles to squeeze and hold those legs in place to hold that ball. Take your hands, you can hold either your calves 
or you can hold behind your thighs if that's more comfortable. We're going to scoop the tummy in. We're going to pull and lift the thighs towards the chest as we lift the feet up. Hold it here. Figure out where your balance is, where your center of gravity is. You may need to deepen your C-curve some more, or you may not need to have it as deep as mine. Now scoop that tummy in. We're going to inhale, rock back onto the shoulders. Exhale, rock up to the balance. Try not to lower that ball. Try not to have that ball touch the floor. Again, scoop the tummy in, rolling back and rolling up. Good. Let's try it one more time and then we're going to add a balance. So scoop the tummy in, roll back and roll up. Now, if you feel like you need to work on that a little bit more, feel free to do so. If you want to step it up a little bit, we're going to do this together. We're going to add a balance. So we're going to rock back, rock up, and we're going to extend the arms. And we can extend the arms forward, extend the arms upwards. We can keep the knees bent. We can straighten the legs some more. It's up to you. Figure out where you are in your practice today and do it. So place the hands on the legs, relax your shoulders, squeeze the tummy in, and roll back. And roll up. Hold it here and balance. And bring it all back in to start again. Rolling back and up. Hold it here and balance. Releasing arms from legs. And come back in. Good. Rolling back and up. And hold the balance. And in. Let's do two more. Rolling back and up and extend and in last one rolling back and up and extend and in and relax let's now just do a quick stretch we're going to come back to our kneeling position we're going to sit down on the heels and if this is uncomfortable for you then just sit with your legs crossed or any other position that's more comfortable and we're going to roll that ball forward when it can't go any further press the palms into it release the chest down and release the head between your arms and breathe here pulling the belly button into the spine up away from your thighs sliding your shoulders back away from your ears now keep the hands exactly where they are squeeze the tummy in and roll the spine up the ball will naturally roll in and then we're going to roll back down again so drop the chin to the chest roll the ball forward roll down through the spine and then release the chest and the thighs releasing your head between your arms shoulders back away from your ears And squeeze the tummy in, roll up, coming to your kneeling position. Shoulders back and down, head up. One more time, rolling down. Now we're going to hold the torso here, we're just going to roll the ball over to the right. So one hand at a time, just roll that ball slightly over to the right, just enough for you to start to feel a nice little stretch along the left side of the body. And then let's roll the ball over one hand at a time over to the left side again just until you feel a stretch now along the right side of the body and bring the ball back to center now squeeze the tummy in and slowly roll up gradually rolling up through your spine to come to sit on your heels shoulders and head come up last let's shift the weight and come to sit we're going to place our right hand on top of the ball i'm going to bring the left arm up we're going to keep that right arm nice and straight and we're going to roll that ball over to the right side as we reach and stretch the torso some more on the left side of the body try to keep that left hip down don't lift it up and then slowly come up and let's switch the ball around to the other side, do the same thing. 
left hand on top of the ball lift the right arm up keep that left arm nice and straight and roll over as you reach over to the left side keeping the left hip down squeeze the tummy in and lift up and bring that arm down let's roll the ball off to the side for a bit and let's just roll the shoulders three times in one direction and then three times in the opposite direction while slowly lengthening through the spine relax the shoulders now bring your right arm across the chest take your left hand to gently pull that right arm closer to the body turn the head to look over the shoulder and then bring the head to center release that arm down bring your left arm across the chest same thing using your right arm now to gently pull that arm closer to your chest and then turn the head to look over your shoulder and bring the head to center release the arms down lift both arms up we're going to press the palms together lengthen the arms drop the chin to the chest as we gently pull the arms behind the head then bring the head to center bring the arms to the side and relax the hands on your knees thank you so very much i hope you enjoyed our pilates with the ball today if you did please make sure to give this video a like and please feel free to share it with all of your friends and family if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel and continue to join me here on the mat for all things pilates until i see you next time take care